obviously the hot topic after the game at Stoke, the two or draw, is the defending, Alan. And it is a concern for quite a lot of fans, I think, at the moment. Well, it is, and, and, and to be perfectly honest, it is for me as well. You know, you've got to, we've got to be looking at that. We've not, kept, we've not kept a clean sheet all season. We've let in daft goals, to be perfectly fair. Now, I'm not going in, I'm not one for castigating players. You know, Big Wes is coming for a bit of stick. Richie Delat's coming for a bit of stick. Jeff Sloop's coming for a wee bit of stick as well. I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to sort of discuss with you people. Uh, and we've got a few, um, we've been on Facebook and Twitter and the response has been amazing. Um, some good, some bad, some clever, some not so good, shall we say. Um, but if we, if we don't read out and we don't you know, talk about what you said, what you posted, then please uh, accept our apologies. We can't get through them all. But first of all, John, who have we got? Well, let's talk about uh, those three players. So we talk about Dilat first of all, because... Well, can, can we sort of take a, take a question? Yeah, okay. well, it, well, it, we've got a question about... Them. Well, we got one that's about Dilat and, yeah. and Slup, actually. Um, uh, somebody saying they, they think Dilat, so let's say Christopher Brain is saying, Dilat hasn't been as good as last year, but can't fault his effort and commitment. And one talking about Slup sometimes seems to switch off a little bit, he says, as well. Well, I, I wouldn't say he switched off as such. Um, I think a lot of goals in the past couple of seasons have come from Richie's position on the pitch, you know, in that right back, behind that right back position. He is particularly quick, he loves to get forward. I don't think he's been doing that as much this season as he did last season, so maybe that's been mentioned to him. But Richie, Richie's a good player, he's a very, very good player. And as I say, I'm, I'm, I think it's unfair to take certain people out and just discuss them. I think as a group, um, I think they'll be talking about themselves. I'm quite sure Big Wes and Rob Ruth, they'll be saying, you know, they won't be happy. They won't be happy that they've conceded two goals and given us another mountain to climb. But, you know. but wouldn't they be better in the wing-back role? If you play three defenders, or would and do that be more comfortable there and be more protected? Well, I'm sure they, they would definitely, because they're not so much responsibility. When you play three in the back, when you're, when you're the outside of the three, let me try and explain this to you, there's one here, one here, and one here. If the ball's up that end of the pitch, the outside two of the, of the three centre-backs, they mark outside the player, because that's where the space is. It's been created um, because we've pushed the full back forward into a five. So they mark outside, and you've got a, a, a lone player, sweeper if you like, uh, and that's how you play it. Richie Delat then, Jeff Sloop wide left. Where then are you going to fit in Mark Albrighton? Mm. Where are you going to fit in Ryan Miras? Where are you going to fit in? Gives you other problems, yeah. Gives you other problems, but Mr. Ranieri, I'm quite sure, is clever enough. If he feels it needs to go to a three, which was very successful in the last part of the last season, then he'll do it. Because we have got goals. If we can, if we can stop chances, if we... Casper Schmeichel against Aston Villa, how many saves did he have to make? Hardly any, but he picked the ball at his net two times. If we can stop that kind of thing happening, it makes it far easier for the strikers to relax and get goals. Obviously, Wes got a bit of criticism, it seems like. Unfairly. That, that, well, Dave Jones said, agrees with me there and says, yeah, he made a slip on Saturday that conceded a goal, but generally speaking, he's been quite, quite secure. Since Wesley came to this football club, he's been an inspiration. And I don't care what you say. Yes, he's made mistakes. Yes, he's had his bad time. But he's come through it. He's come through it. He dropped a record on Saturday against Stoke. But we all make mistakes. It's just that when you're a defender or a goalkeeper, you get punished for that in this league. You might get away with it in the Championship or them other leagues that some teams play in, not us. So I think it'd be a wee bit unfair to single players that Wes has been, for me, has been a fantastic captain and a great performer. Just think in your mind's eye, just, just think of the games you've watched and the number of times he's thrown himself in front of balls, you know, to hit him in the face, hit him in the midriff, hit him in the Yvonne Gulagongs, wherever. <laughs> You're laughing at it. <laughs> you? <laughs> no, but it's true, you know, and, and Wes has done that. He's put his head on the line, and magnificently so. so. There, is some, there has to be a lot of practice on the practice pitch. Um, 
There's got to be a lot of that done. When this is here, when the ball's there, what we're going to do, who's dropping, who's covering, how tight should we mark, etc. Pull the fullbacks in, let the fullbacks go out, midfield players come and protect the front of the back four, etc. 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 A lot of work on that. And you've got to remember this relationship between Rob Hood and, and Wes is only just, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not like it's a couple of years old, still young. Okay, thanks very much, Alan. Thanks for your comments uh, on the defending. Let's hope uh, it uh, keeps together against Arsenal. Can, I just, can say, I just say yeah. one last yeah. thing, John? Justin Gandhi. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Is anyone's defence good enough? We look like we can score against anyone once we are in gear. True. I would kind of agree with you, but I don't want to be winning games 5-4 and 6-5. 3-2. I would rather 2-0. 1-0, 2-0.